Good afternoon, and welcome to episode 734. Um, topic today is Never Give Up, Never Surrender. That's a movie quote, and I'll get to that in a second. And the subtitle is There's More Good Ahead. And before I jump to explain what it's about and you may have some suspicions, let me choose myself first, and we'll jump in and get started, shall we? Um, my name is Barry Selby, if you haven't seen my broadcast before. I'm a best-selling author, inspirational speaker, and relationship attraction expert helping women create balance in love, life, and business. I'm a passionate champion for the divine feminine, which leads to the work I do with women, and also what led to these talks over two years ago called Messages from the Masculine, Inspiring Your Feminine Heart. Now it's brief to MFTM because I have a lot more content to put in the titles and you have to keep it short. Anyway, so today we're episode number 734, and the title today is Never Give Up, Never Surrender, um, which it bugged me for a second because I was like, where's that quote from? And it hit me, hit me, one of my favorite movies is Galaxy Quest. And that was a quote from, um, the th um, let's say, the battle, the defense of the ship. Anyway, putting it down, it was, it was basically, it was put, Galaxy Quest, if you haven't seen it, is a great movie. It's a great tribute and send up of the Star Trek genre. And very funny movie. I've seen it many, many times. I love it dearly. Anyway, so that title just popped into my head. Never give up, never surrender. So what did I mean by that? Because I asked myself that question. <laughs> and what it came to me was realizing is that we have this opportunity to live a full life full out. And what inspired this was actually a convergence of the things I was watching. There was one video I was watching about um, people who suffer from depression or anxiety, other things, who've chosen basically to end their lives. Also, on a different different theme entirely was watching a video that a friend of mine was interviewing this photographer about what they're calling gray or silver haired women women who have reached a certain age or a certain maturity and she said irrelevant of age she's calling them super boomers which I love that title and there's a Facebook page you can find about that and I'll put the link in the comments so you find it that was so apropos and it spoke to me on several levels because of my, some of my clients are in that well I say most of my clients are in their genre, that that generation um, yeah, then most of them are not millennials, just to be double short, double check. So, so on that side of things, there's a sense sometimes that when you get to a certain point in life, you should be giving up. Like you're done, you're retiring, and nothing happens after that. My dad did that initially in his 60s, but then found other things to keep himself going. In fact, that was actually the good thing because he would have. There, there's, a, there's a lot of um, lots of statistics out there that after people retire, if they don't have something else to keep them going, especially men, if they don't have something to keep them going, like family. They can give up and die, literally give up and die. Like they don't do it. They don't. They, it's not. They don't commit suicide. They just don't have to live for. So they just don't bother living. And so I, there are many cases of people who have actually sort of shut down their their lives and their bodies because they've just chosen to check out upstairs. So this is this conversation, this context, this message is really for a lot of people in a wide range. If you've been considering either one that you don't think it's worth having more life or that you feel like you've done enough and you're not willing to have more life going on later on, I have some news for you. And this is actually, yeah, okay. I'm gonna quote um, Richard Buck from one of my favorite books called Illusions, which he said that, um, one of, I mean, he, there's so many quotes in that book, I can list a bunch of them, but one of the quotes that stands out for me so much is, um, just remember to get, the, to get in the right, right order that oh yes there's a way to discover if your mission on earth is finished if you're still here it isn't and that to me is an epitome of why being on the planet is a, is a gift why being here and living life full out is worthwhile and why being of service making a difference on the planet is important because it contributes to the rest of society that's my threefer <laughs> but also why it drives my work um, I was Conversation with what conversation with. I was conversation with somebody, oh, a friend of mine recently, who's now in his twenties, so he's just starting out. And I said, you know, for me, having gone through so many different careers over my life and living in a few countries too, I've got a very wide experience. But it's tempting to think that I didn't do anything successful because I was actually reflecting on that myself, going, did I? Didn't I? But I know very clearly is that I've been on this journey, the personal growth journey, for thirty four, thirty five years now. And that part has been contiguous and continuous. So contiguous and continuous, two different words, just make sure you've got that. 
part of that is for me is the passion to learn and grow and be more of a um, awake and aware person. Not necessarily woo woo, just just more functional, more able to articulate and clear, clearly express myself and be functional in the world. Which is why I support and serve so many other people because this messaging is to help other people. The second part of that though is that I feel like I'm only now coming into my full mastery of the work I'm doing. And I've been doing this particular work for now seven, eight years. Yeah, around seven or eight years now. And yeah, at the beginning I knew a lot of stuff. But it's also like, it's been more because I mean, one, because of all these talks. I mean, this is now 734. I've done a bunch of these. This has been an exposure for me in a way to just to like dig in deep and pull out from within things I already know. Some of it has been downloads and, and um, I won't say channeling, but certainly like I've had or something whispering in my ear, giving me clues. So, so I've had that coming up too. But a lot of stuff I talk about is things I've learned over the years that I've forgotten or have not realized can, can be useful to other people. So these talks are here to help you, by the way. <laughs> they help me too, because they help me stay on track. But the reality is they're here for you as well. So what I'm attempting to say here, and I'm going all over the map, I realize, is that life is here to be lived. Life is here to be expressed, life is here to be celebrated, and life is here to be used, used as a vehicle for us to be more able to function in the world. That's a good manifesto. But that's the thing I'm aware of now, is this idea that we should just give up and not bother, surrender to time? No, 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 no. If you've still got functionality to be able to breathe and communicate, there's something else to do, whether it's a a touch on a, on a family member's arm to let them know they're supported, whether it's going out and cleaning up the beaches, whether it's becoming a new expert in something you've lived for many, many years and teaching other people. There's so many ways we can express in the world and I believe for every one of us, there is a place for us to serve in a way that makes a difference in other people's lives. And this is the thing. There, may, there, are, there are, there are indeed, yes, I'm trying to say that clearly. It all came out once and I couldn't say it clearly. There are many people in the world who live for themselves only. You see them a lot of them in, in, you see a lot of those in the political arena. They purport to be leaders of people, but their really functionality is in it for themselves and selfish at that. Those are the people I'm talking about. I'm talking about you and me, the people who are um, caring, compassionate people, people who have desire to serve, because for me, what this life is really about is becoming a better person and contributing to the planet in a way that's beneficial to all other people. If you're doing that, you're doing something good. If you're not doing that, maybe it's time to change course. And again, because I talk about this as saying there's more good to come, if you haven't necessarily been in the focus point of exploring and expressing life in a positive way, you can still change into that. Because again, being on the planet, being alive, there's still more time. So if you haven't necessarily led the most altruistic, healthy, contributing life up to this point, you can start any time you want. And it may require <laughs> some transformation of your own world paradigm of belief. It also may require you to have some level of, um, what do I want to say? I won't say apology necessarily, but certainly a, a having some sense of making amends, that's probably better way of saying it, with those who you may have heard in the past. There's always room to clean up the mess there's always room to make amends. There's always room to start again and to build from a new place. So this talk isn't necessarily about relationships, although there might be something in there for you to do with your past relationships or if the one you're in or for your future ones to raise the standard, to, to elevate your own experience, to become more conscious of the fact that you're in a partnership, not just using somebody else for your own benefit. Because some people still do that. There was something in there I was going to add to it. Let me think for a second. Oh, a little caveat, because I said it, I said in the title, you know, never give up, never surrender. There is one place to surrender, which is surrendering to a greater being, a greater yet, a greater service, a greater a greater calling. Because sometimes we want to play small and we fight to stay small and play small and hide out, and we never and we want to keep fighting that and never surrender to that. That's where I would say is a caveat. If you're aware of a calling, an inspiration, a thing to do in the world that makes a difference, contribution, message, teaching, service, whatever that is, if you have been hearing that still voice inside, that small voice, knocking on the door of your private room to say, excuse me, need to come out and do something bigger, 
surrender to that open to that explore that because that is where your next expression your next service your next inspiration lies it's what I've been following for a while now these talks weren't just me looking to express they were very much driven by a calling that I didn't want to deal with initially but the more I've done this the easier it's gotten I'm not saying it's going to take you 734 times but it certainly has been easier for me over the years of doing this and I'll keep going because there's always more to share and to inspire and to serve this is my passion to do this as well so it's no longer just something I'm surrendering to and saying yes to it's more that I'm driven to and and passionate about making sure this happens because I know this reaches people I heard from a, I heard from a client today that told me this to remind me that these messages they may not be respond may not be responded to live but certainly in the comments and in the um, replays people have been catching some of my messages and hopefully they're getting this and taking it to heart because this is kind of my passion to keep reminding you that life is worth living so that's my message for today um, if you want to get a little bit more support than just this talk if you want to reach out get some one-on-one -on -one support I'm still offering till the end of the week so it's Wednesday today so another few days if you want to grab one of my um, special 38 minute because it's my 30th anniversary of being in the States 38 minute private coaching session on anything we'll talk about not just about love and relationships necessarily if you want just a sounding board or you want to get some counsel you want some guidance you want some inspiration you want to have some direction and clarity that is my gift my service to you because it's a pay what you want it's a sliding scale it's not like a fixed price we'll be after this week again but for the rest of this week all of this week it's been my intention to serve by offering a pay what you want gift so you can invest as much as you want to or as much as you can stretch into so you can actually have support guidance and clarity on where your next steps are um, you can message me over social media if you want to reach out directly I'll put a link in the comments when I sign off which would be the contact form you can tell me in the contact form if you want to do this and we'll set up the time to talk um, if you want to do it after the weekend but you commit this week I'll honor that because some people have been asking like you know I'm not sure I can do it this week the commitment you make and the investment is this week the talk can be afterwards so it doesn't have to happen before Saturday because Saturday is my one is the week from when I started this 38th anniversary celebration so that's it that's my gift that's my investment in my investment in you and my offering to you as well as my message to help you perhaps get a new perspective perspective on life um, I had another talk about message, love and relationships that was brewing but it wasn't ready yet when I went looking to see what I was going to talk about today it didn't show up so it wasn't ready yet so perhaps it'll be tomorrow so if you haven't seen my broadcast before I do these every day so tomorrow will be 5 p.m. Pacific time right here on my personal page on Facebook which is Barry Selby the playlist gets saved or I should say the replays get saved onto my uh, business page on Facebook which is Barry Selby author please like that page if you wish and also there's a YouTube channel that I've actually created that has a playlist on there called messages from the masculine the channel is Barry Selby please subscribe to that and there's a playlist on there with all the replays if you want to watch on YouTube you can watch them back to back to back um, I'll keep you busy for a while there's a lot of talks out there usually about 10 15 minutes sometimes 20 but this is my intention to just offer suggestions guidance tips clues um, and some nudges to help you get move forward into where you want to go so if you have any questions thoughts please let me know um, if you want to share this out please do that too and also if you have any desire for help message me and uh, I'll talk to you tomorrow with a whole other topic I'm not sure what it'll be but we'll see what it is take care of yourselves I'll see you again soon bye <laughs>